Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barry and this is Centralize. And today we've got a review of Rich Santal, which is by Amir. This is the factory edition and it's a subsidiary of Paris Corner. So my friends over at Aroma Concepts, they sent this for me to try, and this is the fourth of four fragrances that they sent to me. I've already done the other three reviews, so this is the last one. Uh, and this is by Paris Corner. It's the Amir range. One of the others that I did was an Amir one, but this is the factory edition, and this one's called Rich Santal. So let's crack it open and let's see what it's all about. So, as you can see from this, it's got a Mia Factory Edition, it's got name Rich Santal, it's an Eau de Parfum and it's 100ml. So it's in a quite a basic looking sort of box, just a brown cardboard and then it's got like a white sticker on it and then it's got the authentication in the corner, the Paris corner. Um, and it does say some notes, but I won't look at those. And then on the back, you've got ingredients and you've got the Amir badge in the top. So it looks like it's going to open this way. And it's full of black stuff. Let's take them out. And this is what we're left with. Well, let's take the bottle out. And there we go, Rich Santal. Now, anyone that's in the fragrance community will be aware that this looks quite similar to a Le Labo fragrance called Santal 33. Uh, whether that's what they're trying to do, I'm pretty much sure that is what they're trying to do. I don't think there's any idea in it's got a similar sort of label. Now I've done other fragrances which they're doing quite a close copy of the actual bottle and the design so I've got no issues with that. It's a copy at the end of the day as most Middle Eastern fragrances are um, but they've just decided to go along the same routes of trying to get the bottle closer so that people can see what they're copying. Don't necessarily agree with that totally, uh, but then they could use the same name, they could do everything exactly the same, and then that's an exact copy then, isn't it? So anyway, we'll crack it open and we'll see what it's like. Oh, the cap is really heavy. Really heavy chrome cap. Really like that. And let's give it a spray. Decent atomizer on it. Now, I have never tried Santal 33. So I don't really know what he's supposed to smell like. I know Zara did a version. And I think that was just called Sandalwood. So I'm liking this straight away. It's got like a creamy sandalwood feel. It's definitely quite light and airy. That is really nice. It's got, it's quite, there's a bit of sourness to it as well. It's got a hint of leather in there, but I would say it's probably more going down the suede route as opposed to like leather. It's quite soft, but it's very woody, it's light, it's airy, and it's got some subtle spices in there as well. 
I am really liking that. I need to try and get hold of a, some Lalabo and try it. It'd be interesting to see how close that is. I tried a similar fragrance to this recently. I think it was Dunhill Century. Be interesting to see if it goes in the same direction as that as well. Because Dunhill Century, it, it went very, very woody. And I mean, pencil shaving woody. It went really down that, that route. And yet that started quite light and airy. I like the sour feel to this. Now I like sour fragrances. That's really nice. I'd say it's a woody, powdery fragrance, but it's got that bit of spice in there just to spice things up a bit. That's really nice. So what I'll do, I'll do the same as what I've done with the other three. I'll wear it for a week, then I'll come back after a week of wearing it and let you know all my thoughts on it. So I'll see you in a week. I've been wearing Rich Santal for over a week now, so I feel as though I've got a good grip of the fragrance. Um, we'll have a look at the price and availability first. So you can get this from aromaconcepts.co.uk and for 100ml EDP is £34. Now you can get 10% off that by using the code SENT10. Now that is something that I don't get any kickbacks for, so that's just for you to enjoy. Originality, well, obviously it's a copy of Le Labo's Santal 33. I'll put it on the screen so you can see what I mean. Um, does it change over time? Is it linear? It does change slightly over time um, and it gets more powdery as the fragrance goes on. Projection, one to two hours. I have no problems with the projection of this. Uh, longevity, five to six hours before it starts becoming a, a skin scent. It might act differently on other people's skin. It might perform better, it might perform worse, but I have no issues with this at all. Who to wear it? I'd definitely say this is a unisex fragrance. I'd, it depends what style of fragrances you like as to whether it's gonna be your style um, you need to have tried these woody fragrances to to realize whether it's your kind of thing for instance i love it i really enjoy it the wife can't stand it so and yet they say it probably leans a little more feminine but there's something in there that she doesn't like and everybody's got their own tastes when to wear it now i would say this is more of a signature scent, so you probably can wear this all year round. The one time I wouldn't wear it is probably summertime in the high heat, but any other time I think it'd be no problem wearing this fragrance. Compliments, I definitely think it's one of these fragrances that acts differently on different people's skins. Um, for my skin, I think it acts really well. The wife's skin, not so much. Um, I've heard regarding the original not to spray it on clothes because it does act very strangely. I don't get that issue with this, but I'm not saying everybody wouldn't have that problem. But I do think it's definitely something that's gonna garner your compliments. So this is a powdery, woody feeling fragrance, but at the same time, it's got a light, crisp and airy feel to it. It's got a lovely, creamy sandalwood mixed with a, a nice, soft leather. I think that's listed as suede. Um, so it really has a lot of different facets to it. It's warm and spicy at times with a, a few subtle spices which are thrown in there, which add a little bit of interest. 
I get a sour feel from it. Now, I think that gives it a bit of a punch. Now, I'm not sure what that comes from. Maybe it's the sandalwood doing that. I don't, I don't quite know what's creating that sourness. But I'm a big fan of sour notes, so that sourness is really nice for me. So I get a hint of violet, but it definitely doesn't go down that Palmer violet sort of route. You only just get hints of it every now and again. So it can also be a little bit synthetic. Um, there's a dirty feel to it as well. Now the wife doesn't like that dirty feel. Um, there's something about it which she doesn't like. Now I don't get that same thing when I smell it. So I don't know if it's because my nose has matured a bit more and I'm used to these sort of smells, but she thinks there's something in there which she just doesn't like. She said it's like it gives it like um, a bitter aftertaste. Even though you're not eating it, it does give her that vibe. But I mean, that could be the cardamom because I know cardamom can give off that sort of vibe and that is one of the spices that's listed in this. So this does also give me some scent memories. This takes me back to school days when I wear this. It takes me straight into the woodwork room. Now, I was never really very good at woodwork. I think I attempted a few things and I was never great at it. But it definitely gives me that scent aroma and takes me straight back to my school days, which was a long time ago now. Uh, is it a hit or miss for me? I'd say definitely a hit. I've really enjoyed wearing it. And it has got quite a few different things to it which make it different to everything else that's on the market. So is it worth the money? Now £34, so take £3.40 off if you use my scent 10. So you're talking just over £30 and then the postage. So I think that's a really good price for a 100ml fragrance, especially when it's trying to emulate a fragrance which costs £200 for a similar size bottle. So for me, it's definitely worth the money. So have you tried Rich Santal? Have you tried what it's trying to emulate, the original Le Labo Santal 33? Let me know in the comments below. Always good to get feedback. Please like and subscribe, that really helps the channel and I'll see you all soon. Stay fragrant, not vagrant.